Arthur. Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy. Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Let's go after that train. And do not... Red Dead Redemption is an example of a great PC port. It requires a fairly good computer, but you can understand why. It has a gorgeous open world and allows you complete freedom to do as you please. Unfortunately, there's been a few games that translated badly to PC. Most of the issues are related to performance, but luckily there is a way to get a few extra frames. DXVK is a translation layer primarily used to run Windows games on Linux. However, it has benefits to Windows as well, with varying levels of performance gain depending on the games that you're playing. So in this video, I will show three examples that may be of interest to you. Let's start with Watch Dogs running on DirectX 11. I got decent frames, but the game is a decade old now, so you would expect that. I'll install DXVK and see if it makes a difference. It's a simple matter of extracting a few files into the game folder. DXVK forces games to run on Vulkan, which would otherwise not have supported the renderer. This means that utilization is closer to metal, which leads to better performance. Not all games benefit equally, but Watch Dogs gets a huge boost here. It should be noted, however, that using MSI Afterburner will crash your game when DXVK is installed. So it's best to use Ubisoft's built-in frame counter instead. In any case, Watch Dogs 2 should have similar improvements, since both games were developed on the Disrupt engine. What the I'm hesitant to call Metro Last Light a bad port, but the Redux version is just as old as Watch Dogs, and it's getting even worse performance. I rarely hit a solid 60 in open play, and this really shouldn't be the case. Installing DXVK on Metro is exactly the same as with Watch Dogs. Just drag the two files into the game folder. I was really taken aback by the amazing performance I got with DXVK. On average, my frames were quadrupled in most areas. This kind of drastic improvement is unheard of, but the proof is in the pudding. Just to give you some perspective, this scene was running in the low 40s before installing DXVK. Now it's topping out at 160 frames, and that's phenomenal. GTA 4 is one of the worst PC ports of all time. It's right up there with Saints Row 2 and Splinter Cell Double Agent. In 2008, it was unplayable on PC. Nowadays, it's just about playable on mid-range hardware. Installing DXVK on GTA 4 is a bit more involved. The game uses a 32-bit kernel and runs on DirectX 9. Take note of what I do here. I also created a few config files that need to go into the main folder as well. Without these, you'll be limited to 512 megabytes of video memory. There seems to be an issue with the game not filling up the entire screen. My desktop is peaking just above and below, and it is a bit distracting, but I am getting a bump of about 10 to 15 frames. This may not sound like a lot. However, on old hardware, it could make the game just about playable if you lock the frame rate to 30. Before I say goodbye, I should mention that I tested DXVK on Crisis Warhead and Saints Row 2. Neither of them showed any noticeable improvement. But anyway, that's it for this video. If you found it useful, please consider giving a like. It really helps with the algorithm. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.